Let's begin today's Vanguard news with some Dragon Empire cards being reprinted in DZSS01. Notice that all of these are all promo cards which you can expect the other nations to get the same treatment. But the more notable reprints will be all 3 versions of the counter heal triggers. There will be a total of 13 reprint cards per nation. Unfortunately, these are marked with the RE rarity, meaning that they will likely be harder to pull, which defeats the purpose of being reprinted in the first place. In fact, there hasn't been any information for this set except for these 6 new cards for Stoikelia Keta Sanctuary and Brandgate, which are all clones of each other. Flowering Sweets Shop, Chant of Charity that fills the cathedral, and Crowded Spectator Seats are set order cards at once per turn, while in the order zone. Let's you move one of your rear guards not being attacked to the guardian circle when one of your units was attacked, and that unit gets a continuous ability that lets you bind it instead when it would be retired from the guardian circle. This set order basically turns any of your boosters into a makeshift intercept. This is especially useful if you call the trigger or even a sentinel to rear guard, since the D-series sentinels can be used even when moved to the guardian circle. I find it funny that Borsche Road is going out of its way in hard countering Blankmire after its initial reveal. Speaking of which, notice that Dark States didn't get this set order when Astria Blankmire Direful Dolls and Domina Gruzio specializes in binding their cards to use their abilities. So far only Liel is the only one who can benefit from binding the card used for this effect. Finally, Sincere Confection of Eore, Divine Sister Fiancia, and Cranked Bender when placed on rear guard, lets you pay one soul blast to put up to one of their respective set orders from your deck into your order zone. And they get 5k shields when they are put from rear guard to the guardian circle by their respective set orders effect. Borshirod is really trying to entice players in running these new set order cycle cards by making them automatically play the set order themselves and thus not eating up your order card usage in the turn, which is especially useful in Brandgate. Whoever designed Retrospective Dragon should take notes from this. The second ability however seems redundant, since all of them are grade 2 units which they already have the intercept ability. It's like having to do an extra step if you want a 10k shield intercept. As to why you would want to bind them is left unanswered. So until then, and that concludes this vanguard news without the bullshit. Special thanks to my Patreon members for continuing to support my content creation. Be sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments if you suddenly don't want to play with Blankmire anymore.